I like the idea of SAS, the way they organize research, and I think it's the only place in the world when it's, where it's actually organized in this way, where different uh, researchers from different fields can come and cooperate. I think it might be a really productive idea. For the outside world, I'm interested in more general questions which don't have any specific disciplinary dimension. They are multidisciplinary questions, which are the questions which concern humanity, so concern business education, or concerns people who develop technology. So one answer to that is to do multidisciplinary team research, to get a team of people from different disciplines who work together and produce research results that are relevant for several disciplines and by extension to the larger world. The question is how to get this team together. And we developed a format at School of Advanced Studies, which is called Project Design Session, to do exactly that. All those uh, people who came here, they are master of a single discipline. And, and then they are going to form groups intersecting, and where all those disciplines are going to intersect with each other. So my name is Gary Ritzian. Hi, I'm Julie Rescia. My name is Natalia Zaretska. I'm Mark Garrity. Well, uh, we, the, the criteria is the, the, I mean, there are two criteria. One is actually is you have to select strong researchers. They have to have a, uh, potential leaders in, the, in their respective fields. Uh, and the other criteria is that actually they need to, we, we don't really expect people to uh, form research teams d during these three or four days. What we want to see is the potential for individual scholars to collaborate. This was probably the most stressful three days of my life because our team got selected to continue every day with the same project with critiques that helped us to modify that project. We wanted to question the idea of the this clear distinction between the five senses. Here I'm working on a project on understanding the social ramifications, impacts of digital media. And I try to combine psychoanalysis with neuroscience. It's, yeah, it really got you thinking in very different ways than you've been accustomed to. So I think it's a very productive process in a way. In this format, there is no guarantee that people, even if they are good researchers in their fields, will be able to do a good multidisciplinary project because it's a special kind of work, it's special competence. The main qualities of an individual researcher will be precisely to the possibility to get out of the comfort zone, as you say, of uh, individual subjects. It happens very often that neuroscientists work with, with computer scientists or with MR physicists and this in itself is difficult enough but to sort of come up with, with a language between natural sciences and social sciences and, and the humanities to solve a certain problem, this is a completely different kind of challenge. We had four hours each day to show some kind of novel research design, new questions, new methodology, new ideas about how to pursue the research practically. So it's the most intense, high-pressure experience I've ever had as an academic. I think now I'll actually miss it. After three or four days, you kind of look forward to the next day of having that same intense experience. I think the experience is great because even though you don't know people personally, but there is something that unites you. And in this way, because we came with a different, um, we have different backgrounds, but same research interests, it's like we were already close before we met each other. <laughs>